Welcome back, I'm MTG Joe, and today we're going to be playing some Golgari Graveyard. So this was a request by uh, an individual on YouTube. Uh, we played this a while ago, a little bit more budgety version. Um, so I thought we'd run it back, uh, just a couple updates to it. Um, so the goal of the deck is to self-mill, or what's generally referred to in older formats as dredge, where you're putting cards from your library into your graveyard. Um, and then either bringing them back or gaining value from having cards in your graveyard. Um, so the way we do this uh, in terms of self-mill is we have our engines in the term of Stitcher Supplier. So when it enters the battlefield or dies, you put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. Then there's also Glowspore Shaman, which when it enters the battlefield, you put the top three cards in, in your yard. And then you can put a land from uh, the graveyard on top. Um, so then our payoffs, what does it really matter? Uh, so we have Gutter Bones, which we can bring back from the graveyard as long as we, we deal damage to your opponent. We have Golgari Fine Broker that we can find stuff. We have Golgari Raiders, which is a big hasty creature based on the number of creatures. We're trying out one of Lotleth Giant. When it enters the battlefield, basically burns your opponent for the number of creatures in your graveyard. So a good kind of final blow. Uh, there's Mulder Hulk, which costs one less for each creature in your graveyard. So you're effectively going to be casting a 6-6 six, six for two mana that gets to return a land from your graveyard. Um, and then just sh shoring up the rest of the deck, trying out two Priests of the Forgotten Gods where we can sack our creatures for value. Uh, two Merfolk Brand Walkers to kind of smooth out our early draws, hit our lands. Um, we're pretty heavy on the four drop, so I wanted something to kind of bridge in between. Uh, we have Midnight Reaper. Uh, this will allow us to draw cards whenever our creatures die. We have Plague Crafter, which can force the opponent to either discard, sack of creature, or planeswalker. And you could play like Stitcher Supplier into Plague Crafter, sack this, and self mill yourself some more. We got some uh, Ravenous Choops, uh, just to destroy some creatures. And then some Vraskas, which we can sack our creatures and draw some cards. And then also just serves as removal in this case. Uh, two fine finalities will also just kind of return creatures as needed and in a pinch serve as a board wipe. And so one interesting uh, interaction with Mulder Hulk is you can cast Mulder Hulk, bring back a Memorial to Folly. When Mulder Hulk dies, you can crack the Memorial to Folly, bring back Mulder Hulk to your hand, cast it for two mana ideally, and then bring back the memorial. So it's just really good grind engine that you get between these two cards. Um, the rest of the library, the, uh, the mana base, I'm just missing a couple of the green black duels, so just substituting with a Gugari Gilgate. Ideally, if you want to play this type of archetype, four of each, and then three to four memorials of folly. Uh, sideboard wise, try to keep it as simple as possible. What we're looking to do here is disrupt our opponent's hand versus control. Uh, mono blue, drakes, anything with a lot of flyers. Crawl Harpooner comes in. Thrashing Brontodon versus enchantments or artifacts. Crawl Foragers versus aggro to gain us a bunch of life. And Vivians for the mid range or control matchups. So we'll take it through and play a couple matches with it, see how it goes. Traditional play. So as we get started, if you haven't done so already, uh, if you enjoy the content, uh, hitting the subscribe button, the little red button in the bottom right hand corner, it's a free and easy way to show your support for the channel. Uh, it goes a long way to helping us to continue to build. We're going to be coming out with a lot of uh, fun decks with the new set, War of the Spark, coming out. There's a lot of Planeswalkers and cool synergies I want to try out, so make sure to subscribe so you can tune into those. Opponents on the play. Uh, this high end's fine. Glow Spore should help us find our fourth land and can get Mulder Hulk out earlier. So, opponent attacks in with Legion's landing. Okay, so this is tokens. So Plague Crafter is not going to be as good in this matchup. Uh, here... Uh, do we want the land? I th 
think we're actually going to decline. We want a green source, really. There is a play for, like, Vraska. Okay. The opponent's going to trade here. We'll take it. Fine with doing that. Unless they have another memo. Okay. So we draw the land anyways. Play Crafter. They'll get rid of one of those. So they have Tithe Taker and Amara. Uh, so here, I'm just going to kill the Amara right now. We just need to slow down until we can get to the finality half. Opponents hit a really fast start. Yeah, they got it. 12, 15, exactly. So that was a fast start by the opponent. So in this matchup, probably the Crawls and Brontodon is good. We can get rid of the Play Crafters. They don't do much. And a Lotleth Giant's probably too slow. Actually, Priest isn't that good. Can cut down the Priests. They have too much to sack that doesn't really bring value. Try this out. Again, this hand. Okay, this hand's better. So next turn we can double one drop, and then that'll give us uh, some good blocks early on versus the opponent. So let's lead with the supplier. So usually, not the best flip. You usually want the fine finality. Play out the gutter bones. So really just want to draw a land here. Uh, so here... We'll attack in with both. They offer the trade. So we do this just to be mana efficient. We missed our line drop which kind of sucks. They'll poke us in for one here. And they have the history. Okay, so Glow Spore. Just want the Swamp because we want to come into play untapped. So we'll pass the turn. They can poke us for one here. They have the Amara as well. This only gets permanence. Uh, elephant's bad. So I'll just play out like this, try to draw a bunch of cards and hit a finality. And they have the unbreakable formation. So opponent has it all this game. Not much we can do in that regard. Uh, so here... I think it's just a matter of soaking up the most amount of damage. Draw four cards, take four damage. Crawl Harpooner won't be bad. It's awkward because we can't play out two creatures. I think we're dead anyways. Yeah, we 
block to but they hit us. Yeah, so opponents a lot faster than us in that game. So we'll run it back a couple more times. land. I think we keep a little awkward. This comes into play tapped and this is why you usually want to play your duels. Uh, so I still think we got to play this like this. Likely play the glow spore next turn. Okay, this is probably the blue-green theft deck. Oh, no. Gates. So they have the ram. Not too worried about that. So drawing gutter bones is pretty good. So we really just want to hit a land glow sport to ensure we can chupacabra next turn. Perfect. Let's play this out. No attacks on our end. Uh, so no blocks on our part. We only have two toughness, so it's really not going to soak up the damage and we can't kill it. They're ramping. Deciding which lines they want. Smash them for a bunch. Hopefully we can dodge a sweeper this turn, because if we can get down Midnight Reaper, it would really allow us to just remove five cards that we'd get to draw again. They haven't drawn too many cards. They haven't gotten a guild summit. Okay, so they play Krasis, so it buys us a turn. I think we just Chupacabra here again, and then smash them for a bunch. The more aggressive line. But it basically forces them here to have the sweeper or they're dead. We'll also get. Okay, so they have the gates ablaze. This makes Molder Hulk cost three. See what the opponent follows it up with. So they draw two off the guild summit. I'd like to draw land probably. So glow spore makes us hit the other land. I think we just Mulder Hulk here. Again, we just want to put a clock on our opponent. So they one for one us with the Gates Ablaze. Followed up with the Colossus. Okay, so we'll lead on the Branch Walker. Hopefully find a land. Uh, what do we got in our grave? Well, we got the Chupacabra. Uh, so we can get Chupacabra, but that spends our whole turn. We can this and Glowspore Shaman as well. Okay, let's keep it on top. We can block this turn.
keeps us alive longer. Bound Craig, so no draw for them. That's another big crisis. That's troublesome. Uh, yeah, Colossus. Opponent's got this one. So we got greedy there, we should have probably played it safer. So in this matchup, I like the Duress, I like the Vivians. Harpooners aren't bad. So Moldohulk actually doesn't do anything. Giant could be interesting, but we'll probably cut it down. Golgari Raiders, Vraska is not bad. Priest could be good. Uh, probably cut down the suppliers. Just going more green black mid range at this point. So we're taking off a lot of our payoffs. So just want to play like a decent mid range. Probably should have got rid of the Golgari Raiders as well. So we'll play first. Uh, keep this hand. Harpooner is an aggressive threat, and we can, even if they don't have creatures. Okay, so we have priests. Just play out the priest this turn. There, we'll see if they just decide to go gates ablaze. Land here is good. So we'll attack in for three. They spiral. Basically fogging our attack. So I'm playing this out now. As it gives us two targets if they do try to board wipe here. Gateway Plaza. I never like this in gates. Your deck's slow enough. So at least this it forces them as well. Get back our harpooners. Play it out. I want to start playing out some threats that we can catch. We have all our removal, but. If you gain 9 life, they'd be at 12 if it was a normal game. Okay, so they have Krasis here.
So here I'm going to play out the Chupacabra to be mana efficient, but also this leaves us more power on the board. Whereas with the Plague Crafter, it just dies. Play the Overgrown Tomb tapped. Clarion, they brought in more sweepers, so they're probably up to six to seven sweepers now. Guild Summit will help him start to draw out of this. Oh, what we want to see. Just pass the turn here. Okay, so drawing a bunch of lines kind of hurts here. Double play crafter is pretty nice. Clears their board at least. Need some action, a Vraska or something. Molar Hulk even. Colossus. Okay, so Memorial's a bit slow, but we can get back probably Chupacabra. They didn't stack their triggers right. They could have drawn Colossus this turn. has got this one. It's a tough one. Yep. So it's a little rough of a deck. Still ran into a lot of the issues. If you're going to play green black, I think you just play like the salt type mix with the explore package. Draws you more cards, more resilient, and you're not playing with this like cutesy theme. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to hit that subscribe.